All right, guys, it's the next day. It's Monday. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So much for good help. Concrete trucks here. We got tools here. I got the best I can find for help. We're going to get this thing poured. Let's do it. Right, guys captain cleman distracted me and i forgot to hit record on the camera on my hat so we missed most of this but we got it right in there it went pretty pretty doggone smooth that's actually a footprint for i tried to uh, heat man it and jump it the cleman's gonna run up to the next one and start pouring in i'm gonna take the bull float and uh knock this one in a little bit keep on going
Mr. Perfect says, don't worry, that line's not hot anymore. It's fine. You see it? You guys can't even see it, can you? <laughs> yeah, probably. You can see the arcing down. All right, guys, I apologize. I kind of let you guys down here a little bit. Did not get a tremendous amount of video of putting this concrete in the hole. This is actually the second one here, putting some finishing touches on this because they added a little bit of concrete to us. It was just cleaning and iron. I think I mentioned here at the end of the video, but just the two of us, we poured 14 yards in four different locations. Uh, luckily, the weather was on our side. So uh, one thing I want to say is we did vibrate the ends. Uh, I dropped the thing, bullfloat the concrete. Dro we vibrated the ends there real good. Did not get any of that on video. I'm just trying to get these things bull floated down and get them close. So after we get all the concrete placed, we can uh, turn around and come back. And as you will see, the next obstacle we have is, is the roads closed because we're putting these cattle grates in or we're filling in the cattle grates that were there. Uh, so we have to actually take the concrete truck uh, down through the pasture to get down around the other side. There is a, somewhat of a road there, but it's still a little bit of a hindrance to uh, get around there. So let's jump on up the road here, and uh, I'll show you what else we've got to pour up here in the cattle corral, and then we'll come back and get these finished. Let's go, go ahead and apologize now, okay? Okay. Just uh, follow me. Right, guys we got the first two cattle gates down there forward treated out well floated uh roughed in this is something they kind of threw in here not necessarily last minute but we kind of uh threw together this morning they got a different cow sorting herding processing facility i need concrete in here and i need concrete in here so claimant's in the process of bringing the truck around the slightly tricky part about this is our, our road's closed. We can't get through because we got the cattle gates out. So I think Lehman's got a camera with it. He's got some videos. We had to take them all the way down through the pasture. And I think I see him coming now. So as soon as he gets back here, we'll start pouring. No, oh, you're fine. You're fine. Get out of the road, cow. No, no, you're fine. Just stay there. Oh, I'm really good, baby. So good.
Alright guys, all you guys a slight apology. It's just me cleaning. And uh we've been working hard. We ain't had time to video, have we? No time. No time. But we got that pad over there and we're closing in on this one. I'm gonna finish getting this one bull floated off. And uh we'll go back down to the other end. I'll take you guys down there with me and we'll start uh finishing those cattle crossings. As we made it back down here, I don't know if you can tell, but it's extremely windy today and that wind is drying that top out, so we're gonna have to get on this pretty quick. I'm gonna set you guys up here and let you watch. All right guys, so since I couldn't do it while we were actually doing it, I just wanted to give you a quick little explanation of what we're doing. Like I said, I apologize. It was just the two of us. We were really chasing our tail here, but I'm going through with the bull float. I'm kind of hitting it again, just getting a little bit of the cream to the top. It's really dry on top. It's really windy. If you look at the trees in the background, you can see them going, and you can probably see from the, some of the previous videos uh, with some of the audio, it was extremely windy. I'm working on some better equipment. I apologize for that. Hopefully improvements are coming. But uh, for right now, we're dealing with what we got. So Got the got the centers hit. Cleman's working down this edge here. This was probably the worst edge we had. Uh, some of this concrete was broken off from years of traffic, so we're trying to kind of fake it back in, make it look good, uh, give it a respectable job. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to work these edges. I actually come back and hit this whole thing with a mag float one time just to kind of get the the texture the same on the top, and then once that's complete, we'll come back through and put a little uh, put the final finish on it with a broom. So. Uh, that's kind of the the process here. I got some pretty good video of this on the next one uh, as we were kind of getting caught up with the weather here a little bit. Uh, but this one here we kind of had to speed through and uh, and get done because the concrete was getting pretty stiff. All right, guys, we got her all, uh, we bull floated it one more time. We worked it with the edger. See that nice, pretty edge on there. Then we worked it with a hand float. Get your hands out of there. And the uh, only thing left to do now is put a light texture on it with a broom. We're gonna see if uh, Captain Kleeman can drag a straight line. Keep it between the buoys. <laughs> you know how to, you got a license for that thing? Yes, first, first thing is clean the broom. And you prefer to clean it downwind. All right, so you're gonna lay it right down that edge. Keep it light. It's light pressure. Oh, that looks nice. Tip towards me a little bit more. There you go. All right, hold still and I'll let you guys ride with him. Drop the room 
two loads of rugged line in there. Oh, on the front? Yep. All right, guys, that one is done, and we are very tickled with the way it turned out. That looks sharp. That's almost uh, too nice a job for a roadway. We got the Ranger loaded up. Head to the next one. That is nice. Got to get my shadow. Shadows just drive me crazy. You don't have a shadow with a ranger hat on. Look <laughs> how fast he is. Is that the sound of speed bird makes? <laughs> His bird is fed up, I don't know. Lunch time! No, no, yeah. <sighs> Alright guys, we're back down to the last little bit of it here. And this here... I think the exact words don't need to be pretty, it just needs to be in there. So I think we're going to uh, bull float it. <laughs> Are you uh, taking my statement as something else possibly there, Captain? Tinder profile. <laughs> I think we're going to bull float this thing one more time and then we'll probably just broom it. There's the other pad over there. So I'm about pooped. Need to get back into concrete condition. All right, that's it. All right, guys, I promise I'm not trying to make you sick with this shot. I got the GoPro mounted on the handle of the bull flow here. And for you guys that don't know, the way this thing works, whenever I twist the handle, it changes the angle of the bull float and allows me to push it away from me and pull it back. So that's why you see it going from being upside down to right side up, I guess, uh, if that makes sense. And if you watch closely, you can see the, the head of, of the angle of the trial actually change. So just want to give you a quick explanation of that for you guys that don't know. Thanks, I didn't look awful. All right, we got her all bull floating, ready to broom. So and uh, there's a, our poles don't go together. We need an extension here. <laughs> oh, look at this, look, we do this. Oh my goodness. Captain Engineering. Somebody told me on YouTube that every time they search Captain Cleveland, Captain Kangaroo comes up, they wanna know if it's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> on my other channel. I can't. All right, we'll be back in 20 minutes. How oh, your battery's getting low? Is it gonna make it? Yeah, it'll make it. It'll make the cows mad. Oh, that is not straight at all. My, uh, like how hard are you gonna throw this thing? Oh, my joint's a little long, boy, so. One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> Take two.
That's it. Heck yeah. That is mucho better. Mu mucho better, yes. Yes, let's see if we can catch better. Got it. That's about all I got. There you go. Beautiful. You guys like it? Do you like it? No. <laughs> I had a dollar for a time I heard that. I'd have no dollars. <laughs> I can't reach the middle with the mag float to fix this. So the good news is we stopped messing around. We finally went down. We got the proper equipment this time. We're gonna do it right. What was this, like take 27? Take 27. By proper equipment, I'm going, oh my God, one just broke. <laughs> Hip. Go to your, go that way. Okay. There you go, right there. See, the trick was four zip ties. Four zip ties was the trick. I already lost one, I already lost one. Time out. Hey, you All right, guys, there it is. That's a wrap. We finally got our zip ties the hole low enough to uh, get a broom, but sorry this wasn't the best video. Me and Cleveland are pooped. It was 14 yards in four different locations on a windy day. But by golly, we got her, and we're going to go eat some lunch. You ready for lunch? I'm ready for lunch. Let's go do lunch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We'll catch you on the next one. you driving so slow. Don't you know that thing has two speeds? It's a dash two. God, it's hard to find good bosses these days.